Hi Felters and welcome. In today's video we are going to look at what needles you have and how to work out what they are. I get asked this question all the time. People order a kit, the needles arrive and they have no colour coding at the top. So I'm going to help you work out what those needles are. Let's get started. <laughs> One thing to mention before we start is that different needle companies have different colour codes. They are not universal, they are specific to each company. One might put colours at the top, one might put stickers halfway down. So go back to that company you bought your needles from and try and see if they have a colour coding chart which would work really well. Because I order all of mine from Heidi Feathers and they are the sponsors of today's video. Heidi Feathers offers a variety of complete craft kits you can get lots of soft coloured felting wool bundles, loads of felting needles, glass eyes, silk fibres, pre-felt, wool dyes amongst many other things. They're a dedicated felting shop which is fantastic and they stock the largest uh, selection of felting needles in the UK. They like to use British suppliers as much as possible and they keep the quality of their products high so you can buy with confidence knowing they're really good products. They are a family run business so they are small enough to care while still stocking an impressive range of felting supplies. If you do order through Heidi Feathers, as I said, you get this fantastic postcard, which is color coded for all the needles. They have a huge range of needles, as I've already said. Um, the needles will arrive in these really cute little plastic uh, boxes and you can open them up and you can see quite easily what needle you want to select. And they do really good um, small sets of needles so you can buy a set of seven needles with a big range there and you can try out the needles and see which one is best for you and I have to say I am really over the moon that they are the sponsors of today's video so thank you Heidi Feathers for supporting my channel. So you've ordered your kit and it's arrived and you've got some needles in there that you just don't know what they are they haven't got any colours on the top or markings so the first thing you're going to look at is the shape of the needle at the base there are three types that you might get. To be honest, most starter kits, I would hope, would have triangular needles. And that is the most common needle that there is. And you can do loads with triangular needles. It does depend on the size of them. So we're going to have a close up on the, the shape of a triangle. And when we talk about looking at what the needle, how the needle is shaped, it's this little bit down the bottom here and you can see the little notches or barbs that those are the things that do all the work for us. So let's have a closer look at this one. So there we are, this is in the shape of a triangle. It's called triangular or triangle or sometimes it's sometimes called just a regular needle because the majority of needles are triangular shaped and you can see it's got three sides down the bottom there. The next needle shape that you might come across is a spiral or twisted and they're quite easy to spot. That's the same type of needle, two different names, spiral or twisted. Let's have a closer look. So there we are. You can see that it was a triangular shaped needle and then they have twisted the whole of the bottom of it. And you can see the light reflect off, off it as you twist it round. They are really quite easy to spot and they are my absolute favourite. Um, because I think they work really well and do a great job but I'll uh, show you some more of them in a bit and then the last type of needle that you might possibly get and I do know is in some starter kits is a star shaped needle and I'll just show you this in close but basically it was a triangular shape and then each side has been indented in so it would if you cross section through it would kind of look like a star let's have a closer look there we are so they're a bit tricky to spot but you can see there's an extra line down each side as I twist it round you can see there's a little line there so if you're kind of looking and thinking that's really unusual what is that needle it's probably um, a star so you've identified what shape your needle is uh, fingers crossed like I said it will be triangular and then we're going to look at sizes. Now this is a lot harder to determine. Um, it's obvious to spot a really big size needle. This needle is bigger than this needle. So here we are, we can see that the top needle is a lot bigger than this needle here. Now this top needle 
is quite a big triangular needle. It's a 32 size. So the lower the number, the higher, the bigger, sorry, the needle. So this is a 32. And then we have a 36. 34 is jumped. I don't know why. Um, 38. 40. And then this one's a 42. Now the 38 regular is one of your most common needles that you would probably get in a starter kit, a 36 or a 38. And this does an awful lot of work. So it's good for um, starting off and it's good for finishing. The lower the needle, so if you've got some quite sort of rough wool, a 32 will work well, but you might begin with a 36 when you first start your project and then go on to a 38 or a 40 and a 42 would really, really help for finishing and getting that smooth finish, which I've got a video about. I'll link it towards the end. So when you're looking at the size of the needle, another way that's going to help you is by pushing the needle in to something that you've felted and seeing if there's a lot of resistance. Now this is the 32, it's a big needle, so I would have used it at the beginning when I first started, but trying it now, there's a lot of resistance. So I can tell that this is a big needle without even looking at the needle. 36, some resistance, and so it goes down. 38 is easier. 40, much easier. And then 42, it just slides in. It's really easy. And this is when I would do sort of all the finishing work and getting the surface nice and smooth. So taking the big one, more resistance, thin one goes in really easily. So I'm really having to push the big one in. But this is how you can tell by feel if it's going easily into the wool, it's probably a finer needle. So spirals or twisted um, come in a range of sizes, normally 38, 40, 42, um, and they should feel like they go into the wool quite easily. You probably won't have a big spiral shaped needle. They'll probably be uh, the needle that would have been put in the kit to help you finish off an item. And then the star is always, I find most stars are quite, um, big and choppy and harder to get in that I am not a big fan of stars but a lot of people really like them and really use them an awful lot so it's just because it's my opinion it doesn't matter but you will feel there is a big bit of resistance there as I'm trying to push it in so stars can be slightly harder to push in so you've looked at the shape of your needle is it triangular spiral or twisted or star and then you might want to try and work out the size of it. And you can tell that from how much resistance it's giving you as you felt into an item. Just a couple of other needles to mention. You probably wouldn't come across this one, but this is a crown. And I really don't think it would be in the starter kit. But a crown has got just um, one or two barbs at the very end and is for ultimate finishing. And it barely feels like it's doing anything. And again, I show this a lot more in my specialist needle video. And then one other needle that you might get sent is a reverse needle. And it's very easy to spot because as you push it in, there's no noise. As you pull it out, it makes the noise. So it's pulling the hair out. So as you push it in, nothing. As you pull it out. And it is, it's really different. And you're like, oh, that's interesting why is it doing that and I have a full video talking about what reverse needles do but you sh you probably wouldn't but it's a chance you might get it in a kit where you wanted um, a sort of a fuzzy furry finish a couple of things just to mention is that needles can come in a small medium and large quite often I see this on Amazon it's quite hard to know exactly what they are so you'll have to have a look at the size of them I don't really like the labeling small medium and large it could mean large is a is a thicker needle and small is a finer needle also needles can be labeled fine medium and coarse and again coarse would mean the needle is quite chunky and fine would mean would mean it's a smaller needle 
I hope that's helped you work out what needles you have in your kit. The next video I'm going to be doing is how to get the ultimate smooth finish guaranteed because everybody wants to know how to do that. So subscribe and you will get to see that video. And I'll put this video up at the side, which is about specialist needles and goes into a couple of other things like the crown needle and rooting needles and the reverse needle. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you again soon.